Welcome to the video on understanding slot locations for cards. In this video, we will talk about the slot locations for the network processing cards, services processing cards, and I.O. cards on the SRX 3600 services gateway. This video covers the following topics. Common form factor module slots, supported cards, front panel and rear panel slots, slot numbering, maximum cards allowed, minimum configuration, NEBS and ETSI compliance requirements. You can install common form factor module cards on the SRX 3600 services gateway. There are six slots for these cards on the front panel and six slots on the rear panel. In the next few screens, you will learn more details about the slots on the front and rear panels. The SRX 3600 Services Gateway supports four types of common form factor module cards as shown on the screen. In this video, we will refer to I.O. cards as IOCs, Network Processing I.O. cards as NPIOCs, Network Processing cards as NPCs, and Services Processing cards as SPCs. Now let's look at the slots on the front panel and the supported cards. There are six card slots on the front panel and the slot numbering is as shown on the screen. The supported cards are SPCs, IOCs, and NPIOCs. NPCs are not supported on the SRX 3600 Services Gateway front panel. The supported cards can be installed in any slot on the front panel. The slot number guide is available on the lower left corner of the front panel for your reference. The switch fabric board is inserted in slot 0. Here is an example of an SRX 3600 services gateway with an NPIOC, an IOC, and an SPC installed in slots 1, 2, and 6 respectively. If a common form factor module slot is not occupied by a card, you must install a blank panel to shield the empty slot and to allow cooling air to circulate properly through the services gateway. Moving to the rear panel, there are six card slots on the rear panel and the slot numbering is as shown on the screen. The supported cards are SPCs, NPCs, and NPIOCs. IOCs are not supported on the back panel of the SRX 3600 services gateway. SPCs and NPIOCs can be inserted in any slot. NPCs can be inserted only in slots 10, 11, and 12. Although NPIOCs can be installed on the rear panel, we recommend that you install NPIOCs in the front panel slots to simplify cable management. The NPIOC cannot manage the built-in ports. You will need a separate NPC for managing the built-in ports. The slot number guide is available on the lower right corner of the rear panel for your reference. Here you can see an SRX 3600 services gateway with an NPC installed in slot 10 on the rear panel. With the interchangeability among the IOCs, SPCs, and NPCs, you have more flexibility and scalability when deploying networks based on your requirements. The SRX Services Gateway can be populated with up to 6 IOCs, 11 NPIOCs, 7 SPCs, or 3 NPCs. A minimum configuration must include 1 SPC and either 1 NPC or 1 NPIOC. If there are no NPCs in the chassis, the Ethernet ports on the switch fabric board will not function. For the services gateway to meet NEBS and ETSI standards, two SPCs cannot be installed side by side in the slots on the front of the chassis, slots 1 through 6. However, you can install SPCs side by side in the slots in the rear of the chassis, slots 7 through 12. Thank you for watching. To learn more about the SRX services gateways, please visit our technical documentation page.